Hey guys, do it tomorrow. So, found out this week that uh, the founder of the Westboro Baptist Church, Fred Phelps, has passed away. Now, uh, my feelings towards this is probably going to be in the minority that I'm not going to be going celebrating and saying like, oh, ding dong, which is dead, which or which, 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 and all that stuff. I'm not going to be doing that because there's no point in it. You know what I mean? And plus, I feel that I should be the bigger person. Bigger person than every single one of those Westboro Baptist fools. That I'm not going to be going around and celebrating the death of a person. You know? And because I just feel that if I do that, I'll be just as low as those guys. You know? I know there's a lot of people who are saying, you know, I'm glad he's dead and all that stuff. And, oh, let's pick at his funeral, even though there's not going to be a funeral because... The church don't believe in worshiping the dead or something like that. But I, to me, it's like, what would that will accomplish? It's not going to accomplish anything, period, by doing that. It's just going to make you just as low as those guys. And I feel that everyone should be the bigger person. But um, besides that, what I'm trying to say is um, my feelings towards his death. Um, like I said, I'm not going to celebrate his death. To be honest with you, I actually feel sorry for the man. I feel, I feel very sorry for him due to the fact that he lost the chance to change. You know, I've always been a firm believer when no matter what type of sin you've done in your life, if you're still alive, you still have that chance to change. You know what I mean? You still have that chance. To, even though it's maybe like, say, 0.0000001% or something like that of changing, it's still a chance. It's still a chance to change. And I was really hoping one day that he will have some kind of Darth Vader moment. If you don't know what I mean, like, at the last moment he realized what he's doing was wrong and then had a last shot of redemption. And... I'll be honest, I was kind of hoping for that. I, I always hope for that for a lot of people. But, unfortunately, his hatred was so huge that the chances of him waking up one day and realize, what did I do? Was very, very, very slim. And it sucks for him. You know, it sucks for him that he lost that opportunity. And that he's always going to be remembered for the man that is full of hatred and is trying to spread hate and making Christianity look bad, you know, instead of, like I did in my other video, being remembered for the guy that helped blacks go to school in Kansas, even though he kind of did it for, you know, ulterior motives and stuff like that for the popularity and the money and all that stuff, but he still do something good. Sadly, he's not going to be remembered for that, and that's on him. You know, that is definitely on the guy, you know. Now, the biggest question is, what's going to happen to the Westboro Baptist Church now that their leader has fallen? Is this going to be the end? No, it's not going to be the end. Uh, it's not going to be the end of the hate spreading around all over. Uh, it's still going to happen, people, you know. It's not going to be like the end of all ends. I mean, he still has followers there's always going to be somebody to take his place. Not just not just the Westboro Baptist, Baptist Church, but other people who feel the same way that he does. Of wanting to spread hate, whether it's about homosexuality or about people of different race or different religions and stuff like that. There's always going to be some person that's going to take that guy's place. You know? And... The only thing I can have to say is we have to keep fighting the hate. You know, fight the good fight. That's the most we can do. You know, for a Christian like me, all I can do is pray for the people who has full of hatred. And hopefully one day they'll change. And like I said, I don't believe in, you know, people have no hope of changing. You're still alive. You have a chance to change. You know what I mean? I've seen a lot. I've heard a lot of people who's done so many horrible things in their lives and they made a big huge 180 you know and realize what have I done it's sad that Fred Phelps will never have that chance because he dead you know he's never gonna have that Darth Vader moment you know 
Am I gonna say rest in peace? Probably not. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. I'm not trying to say that. All I'm saying is that, you know, for those people out there who have done sins, don't feel like it's there's no hope for yourself. You have a chance to change. You have that moment. Don't be like Fred Phelps and just wait for the last moment and never change. Because you don't want to leave a legacy like he did. Because no one's going to mourn for the guy. I, I'm not going to mourn for him. Nobody is, you know. And like I said, you know, I, would, I wouldn't celebrate his death. I wouldn't make this celebration. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but what is that going to accomplish? Heck, even the e um, Equality House. Equality House. I'm going to put the link on, the script, um, on their Facebook uh, page. Are pretty much saying giving their condolences to the Fe uh, the Phelps uh, family and the Westboro Baptist Church because they said we don't celebrate you know a person's death because of their beliefs and their hatred you know they, they believe in equality and I think we should be like that you know we should be like that show that we're bigger than the Westboro Baptist Church show that we're bigger than all the other hate groups out there you know. Don't fall in their footsteps. Don't, don't um, sink to their level. You know what I mean? Show that we're bigger. Because I think that is going to be the one thing that's going to erase the hate. Show them that we're bigger. You know what I mean? Because if you guys are going to start picketing and, and doing all this stuff, it's only going to increase the hate. You know what I mean? So, all I have to say about Fred Phelps is you had your chance to change and you didn't take it. And you're always going to be remembered for what you've done. Not for the good deeds that you have done in your past, but you're always going to be remembered of all the negative. You could have changed that. You could have had that Darth Vader moment. And you just blew it. Anyway, that's all I have to say about this matter. What do you guys think about his death? I know a lot of people are going to be saying, yay, he's dead and stuff like that. But like I said, I don't feel that way. But if you do, feel free to comment down below. Tell me what you guys think, and we'll see if it goes from there. Okay? See you guys later.